<laughs> Welcome back to the Roundtable. I'm Osher Kvots, and earlier this week I saw the My Hero Academia movie Two Heroes. Now, I haven't really talked about My Hero Academia on this channel before, but I do absolutely adore the series. I heard about it in 2015, a year prior to the beginning of the anime, as I had friends who were reading the manga, and we were all shocked that it got an anime adaptation so soon. And now, here it is on the big screen. Now, spoiler warning, this is off the cuff, I'm just gonna be talking about things I liked, some things I didn't like, I won't be going too in-depth, but I don't want to have to filter myself for any spoilers. The premise of this film was absolutely genius. Like all anime films, the events are pretty self-contained. It's done in a way where it won't be mentioned in the anime for obvious reasons, but it also managed to flesh out the world a bit more. All Might invites Deku to a hero convention on I Island where heroes can use their quirks as they please. All Might himself was invited by a girl named Melissa, the daughter of one of All Might's closest friends and former teammate, Dave. Wow, going from names like Deku and All Might to Dave in the same sentence is... <laughs> wow. But things go awry when villains take over the island, and it's up to Deku and his friends to save the day. Something I absolutely adored was the implementation of these characters. The classmates of 1A actually have a reason to be there. The reasons for bringing Bakugo and Ida to this island make sense. Bakugo won the sports festival, so it does make sense that the press would see this student and invite him to more hero-based events. Ida comes from a family of heroes. So of course he would get an invite. Now Todoroki, I don't see why they couldn't just have Endeavor show up and bring him along the ride. Having Todoroki, a student who isn't a licensed hero, show up in the place of a really famous hero, I don't know, it just felt contrived. It makes sense that Mineta and Kaminari would be there, volunteering and hoping to meet some girls. By the way, Mineta scaling that building, shouting, Harum, harum, harum! Absolutely hilarious, one of my favorite lines in that entire film. And as is the case with both fictional series, some of the highlights of this film are when you just see everyone hanging out and acting like normal kids. And as is the case with most anime films, they introduce a new power-up that'll only be mentioned in the movie. This one being Full Gauntlet, a device Melissa created for All Might and gives to Deku so he can use his quirk without damaging himself. And that allows us to give a much more powerful Deku in this film by extension. Seeing him use one for all without his body getting banged up was just so satisfying. Now the actual conflict, you see it coming a mile away. They make it super obvious. Like, come on, there's a hostage situation. I can see them pulling him aside, but Sam too? Really? But I didn't see the twist of the fake villains being actual villains coming because, well, actually, I don't know why. That being said, the main antagonist wasn't anything too memorable. Like, again, most shonen films. He has a cool looking design, but it's pretty one note. And as is the case with most shonen films, the main cast get new outfits for the occasion. The outfits in question here being more formal attire for the reception party. Everyone looked good. I also like All Might's role in the movie, although he was relegated to a or a hostage as he couldn't fight or else everyone around him would, you know, go bang bang. But of course he comes through at the very end. And Double Detroit Smash, oh my god, put that in the series proper. I know you can't, but still. As for my complaints, I know this is kind of nitpicky, but usually with shonen films, they try to upgrade the art and animation from the actual anime. Usually by the simple yet effective detail of extra shading. We don't really get that here. Aside from the set piece at the end, it just looks like a normal episode of the anime. Which leads into my second complaint. Although I did thoroughly enjoy it, if My Hero Academia was a weekly anime and they had to do filler arcs, this would be a filler arc. Not even in a bad way, as again, I had fun, I enjoyed myself, but oh my god, they really did the thing. We really got the exposition of, a long time ago, Harold started having powers, you know, the TGI shot of the earth, Deku crying, watching the video of All Might, All Might, I was just, I've seen this too many times in the anime. They showed this like, what, like every five episodes? I don't need this anymore, I just don't. But none of this really detracted from the experience. In fact, I guess that made it truly my hero academia with the flashbacks. If you're a fan of the series, you'll definitely love this for its character interactions. Everyone has something to do. Your favorite character may not be heavily involved in the film, as there are a few cameos of other 1A students, but the handful of characters they do showcase absolutely have their moments. They're all key players at one point and another to getting to the top of the tower and putting a stop to everything. If you're not a fan of the anime, if you've never seen my hero academia, I think you'll still enjoy it and you won't be all that lost. And the climax you do reference the antagonist, All For One, which felt very shoehorned in, but besides that, you're golden. I can definitely see myself rewatching this in the future and still having just as much fun. But have you seen My Academia 2 Heroes? What did you guys think? Let us know in the comments below or tweet your thoughts to me at Osher Fox or at Roundtable Vids. If you went up the Roundtable Grow, support us on Patreon. Get access to exclusive perks and your name can be at the end of the video. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and if you're new here, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications to stay in the loop with all things animation. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Ostrich Vlots, out.
Let's go, 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 go.